Black played queen to d5 check in no less than one second. Black had way more than that on the clock. Pawn takes d5, ends the game, king to c3. Spectacular stuff. The king has a choice of three moves. One is amazing, one is okay, one is bozo level, and Black chooses bozo level. Um, white with an absolutely overwhelming amount of material. Not only did it win this game, White got checkmated by a pawn. And that, but for, <laughs> this is the end right here. Everything has been about that knight on f6. White goes he. What? Rook b8. To even begin to say that I have no idea what the point of rook b8 is, is an understatement. But what I'm begin, and by the way, white doesn't take again. W why? I mean, you did everything to set yourself up for the rest of the game, and then you just... And then just Rook C... I mean, what are we... Why? 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 And if you thought that White took this... <laughs> ah, no. If I play Rook D5, I get taken, right? So I'm gonna go Rook C6 to go Rook D6. It's basically pick your poison, okay? You can win like this, you can go rook e7, you can play queen a5 or queen c4, that wins in a few moves, or you can play queen b6 check and lose your queen in one move. I mean, the move f4 is so brain dead. So king e8 is really dumb because you blunder the more advanced pawn. You cannot blunder the more advanced pawn. Well, this was a fun video. We had a perfect opening that ultimately resulted in, uh, <laughs> yep, well, now white is gonna go on to win this game. Couple of checks. So black plays the move F5 now. By the way, can we just address the fact that they've played 20 moves and they've only spent five minutes each? What is the point of playing a 30 minute game if you have no intention of ever? He doesn't use his queen, he doesn't use his knight, he doesn't use his rooks, he plays the move H3. The move H3 is so bad because in this position white plays rook a1 wow